good afternoon sally good afternoon sir so uh, sally actually the purpose of this meeting is that we will discuss about the uh, interview experience and overall process uh, of iit indore uh, for phd admission right so yes, uh, before the uh, discussion so just give a brief introduction about uh, yourself where are you from uh, what program you have completed okay so something like that yes sir uh, so hello everyone my name is sailesh suradkar i am from maharashtra i have done my undergraduate and post graduation in english literature from dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university and uh, i have also cleared net jrf last year Uh, this year i have also cleared gate and recently i have also cleared a uh, mh set and right. uh, since then i am just uh, following for the phd programs mm. and some of my uh, research areas include women studies gender studies and education right interesting so and like uh, i want to uh, say that uh, congratulations sally that you got uh, selected at iit indore for phd program and many many congratulations uh, for other achievements like you have uh, qualified uh, a set examination uh, state eligibility test of maharashtra right so yes, congratulation sir. okay congratulation for that achievement right so uh, you, yes so sally just uh, now uh, just tell me the what was the overall process uh, of a phd admission of iit uh indore yes sir so uh, the overall uh, the applications about the iit indore is mainly divided into uh, four uh, quarters uh, basically right. in one semester they take two quarters and the other mm -hmm. semester has to so this was the autumn semester that i applied for in the second yeah. quarter i have applied uh, and the forms were out during the month of may and uh, the interview process went on during uh, june so right. uh, so sir this was the uh, period when the applications and all began uh, basic details right. were asked in the form like uh, mm. all your education qualification and your background etc right right after that sir then uh, on 30th of may we got uh, that uh, call for the interview that right. you are selected and all and they have mentioned about the date and other details that were required they also right. asked about the documents uh, about the selected candidates mm. and uh, also uh, they said that the interview is going to be online even the written test was to be held online okay so, nice sir, nice mm. yes sir. so this was the application process sir, overall right, right. so uh, now uh, just explain uh, uh, about like uh, explain the Uh, question pattern for the written test okay written test is the one of the most uh, key selection criteria okay you have to qualify the written test then they will call you uh, for the interview okay for the further process so uh, like uh, just tell the question pattern what type of question they asked uh, in that written test so whatever you can uh, recall uh, now so just explain that yes sir so as i said that on the 30th of may i got the uh, call for interview uh so uh, i had like 5 uh, to 6 days because 6th of june was mentioned as the date for interview and also for right. the written test so then right. during this time this is like a pre interview phase uh, which i have right. utilized for mainly for searching like what my research area is about then i right. have also prepared proposal that uh, right. that was required although it was not mandatory to give a proposal in the interview but right. i think that to have a clear uh, vision during interview it is very better to keep prepared with a proposal by our hand right. and sir also with that i have also connected with some senior scholars of uh, iit indore right. for for the help and more uh, guidance in this regard and i have right. also uh, in this period i have also gone through the profiles of a uh, professor that i am mm. interested in mm. this is the uh, pre interview phase that i have utilized in Right. then on the day of interview and written exam uh, uh the process was in such a way that uh, earlier the, that 9 to 10:30 am mm. there mm. was written exam right. so uh, before uh, 9 am 
they have provided us with uh, the question paper through the right. mail. Right. So the question paper arrived uh, to us uh, before nine o'clock, and then we had to write on uh, blank sheets, and right. then we have to uh, upload it on the uh, link that they have provided. Yes, yes, yes. This was the process. So uh, that day was divided into two things. Uh, first is the written exam, which mm. had two parts. Written exam basically uh, had uh, four questions in total. Four which, questions. Yes, sir. Okay. Four questions. Out of which, uh, one part had had three questions, and mm. the other one was mandatory. That that was mm. for the SOP. Uh, mm. SOP was mandatory for all the domains that uh, the PhD application that they were accepting. Right. Sir, uh, the three questions that were asked uh, were optional. Like we have to answer two of them, and each carried a uh, fifteen marks. So. Mm. Uh, Two questions means like thirty marks were for the uh, first section, okay. and the other section uh, was for ten to twenty marks. Like SOP was to be written in and around three hundred three hundred words. Okay. So this was the pattern, and we nice. have to write. Uh, we we were asked to write on the plain sheet and upload it uh, by the given time. Right. Okay. Yes, Just uh, can you remember or recall uh, that uh, the questions? Uh, what type of question they asked? Like. Uh, which topic uh, they given like what is what was the question? Uh, uh, can sir, you recall I'm, or not? Just no, sir. Uh, I'm not. Uh, means yes, uh, I can recall some of them. It was mis yes. uh, mostly based on uh, important writers from uh, sociology, the four founders right. of the sociology, mm -hmm. and some questions were related uh, on that only. Uh, right. Sir, okay. I okay. cannot uh, recall the exact questions, uh, right. but yeah, the main it's thinkers fine. were. It's fine. The main thinkers were the more focused uh, area. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yes. Sir. Okay, so SOP was uh, SOP was there, right? Uh, it yes, was uh, mandatory for everyone for every uh, uh, social science subject, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so for the next phase, uh, just uh, tell us uh, something about the interview, interview questions, and your experience. Uh, who were the panelists? How many uh, professors were there in your panel? So yes. just uh, give uh, this in a uh, detail. Yes, sir. so then uh, just after the written exam, uh, we were allotted our roll numbers, like according to which we have to appear for the uh, interview. They called our names and one by one we have to be present in that uh, room meeting. And right. uh, I got my chance in and around 3 th uh, 3.30 uh, p.m. And mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> The senior uh, PhD scholar that I have uh, mentored from, they said that only the concerned domain teacher would be there or the professor would be there. But uh, right. to my surprise, there were seven to eight panelists uh, from all the SSS department that were right. present. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, means uh, I was firstly shocked that to see everyone over there. I thought the concerned members would be there, but it was mm -hmm. not that in, in this case. Right. So, sir, uh, this was the process that happened, and then they called my name, uh, and the interview began. Mm -hmm. They started by asking me, like, uh, introduce yourself, or right. like, uh, what is your topic of right. research that you want to do. They even right. asked, like, uh, like I am from uh, English literature background, and I applied through the sociology one. So the main question they asked was like, uh, like, why do you want to switch your domain? And this is a very important question. You have yes, to defend sir. it. I think you did it well. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just said like I am more in interested on doing uh, real uh, societal problems and providing solutions to them. So I am much more mm. interested in sociology. Right. So this was right. the thing. And uh, they also asked like, uh, why do you think your topic is necessary? So uh, the topic that I yeah, question. Was, साइली ये क्वेश्चन और भी इंटरेस्टिंग है मतलब सबसे ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग है व्हाई डू यू थिंक दैट योर टॉपिक इज 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 इंटरेस्टिंग और व्हाई इफ यू डू और परसू यू इफ यू परसू योर पीएचडी इन दैट टॉपिक सो द व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ योर टॉपिक वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन दे आस्क्ड and i am i'm very happy that this type of question uh, that the professor of iit uh, indo they asked uh, it was very tricky okay uh, yes, okay sir. so i think uh, you did it uh, well 
you replied you answered in that interview panel okay so that's why you you got uh, like uh, selected so anyway just go on yes sir so then i explained that i want to do work on like impact of gender perception in marginalized right. women's education and right. then they asked like uh, the most question then followed uh, based on the topic uh, which was mm -hmm. like uh, what are some of the challenges faced by marginalized women in day to day's life this was one question then they also asked like what what do you mean by gender perception then uh, what uh, like make clear what you want to exactly do in this research mm -hmm. or what are your objectives through this mm -hmm. and uh, they also apart from this they also asked that uh, have you done any project or dissertation during your bachelor's or masters and right. uh, uh, an answer was uh, like neg in the negative form because um, during uh, my masters uh, there was covid and there could right. not happen much product project so right. i said it honestly and uh, also they asked like uh, do you have uh, net grf and all and uh, have you done any course work related to sociology as as one well? yeah. so sir uh, this were the uh, questions that were asked to me and uh, yeah. this is how the overall uh, interview went on oh. i think the uh, time nice, that nice, uh, nice. required was like uh, for uh, 20 to 25 minutes the interview went on ओके सो दैट्स व्हाई दैट्स व्हाई यू गॉट सिलेक्टेड जनरली क्या होता है ना इंटरव्यू में आईआईटी में इंटर ओल्ड आईआईटी में मैं बात कर रहा हूं ओल्ड आईआईटी के बारे में वहां पे क्या होता है ज्यादातर इंटरव्यू 10 से 15 मिनट तक होता है मतलब अगर अच्छा इंटरव्यू हुआ तो नहीं तो 5-7 मिनट के अंदर खत्म हो जाता है इंटरव्यू बट अगर किसी का इंटरव्यू मोर देन 15 मिनट्स जाता है तो इसका मतलब आइदर बहुत अच्छा हो रहा है इंटरव्यू नहीं तो बहुत गलत हो रहा है ठीक है तो सिलेक्शन का जो चांसेस है वो बढ़ जाता है ठीक है मतलब इंटरेक्शन अच्छा हुआ है इजीली ज्यादा टाइम लिया है और ये मतलब 100% ट्रू भी नहीं है ऐसा भी हुआ है इंटरेक्शन बहुत देर तक चला बट सिलेक्शन नहीं हुआ ऐसा भी मैंने देखा तो इसलिए मैं बोल रहा हूं लाइक योर इंटरव्यू वेंट ऑन मोर देन 20 मिनट्स सो इट्स बीन इट वाज गुड ओके दैट्स व्हाई यू गॉट सिलेक्टेड ओके एनीवे I think uh, you will do uh, in future uh, and wish you a bright future. So and thanks uh, for this uh, wonderful interaction and the whatever you have explained uh, in this meeting. Uh, this will help you uh, help others. Uh, OK, for the uh, future aspirants. So thanks a lot uh, for this wonderful interview. Thank you so much, sir, and especially thanks to you, sir, for always being there during my journey and guiding me in the right way. Yes, thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, yes, okay. Sir. Bye, bye. Yes, sir. Bye, sir.